Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran has advanced to the next level. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Alright, you two are safe for now. Thanks for helping us out, Tyrannos. Verna, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But what the hell was that thing made of? I told both Master Tankalo and Lady Thagomizer not to engage. But of course, they didn't listen. They thought that just because they had armor that they stood a chance. But what they didn't know was that Project Claw's claws were capable of penetrating armor. Not to mention that he can also camouflage. The camouflage part I had no knowledge of, but I will have Professor Raptor write that down. We need answers right now, Tyrannos. Who is this Project Claw? You both might want to sit down for this. It's going to be a very long story. 65 million years ago, while I was tracking down Lord Giganato, I found myself on planet Earth during the Cretaceous period. I eventually encountered Lord Giganato, and after a rough battle, I eventually defeated him and buried him under a volcano where he lived until, you know, you came along, Jay. Yeah, I know the story. Millions of years pass, and humanity has taken over the once populated dinosaur world, which leads us to our Project Claw part of the story. The year was 1964, a full decade after Godzilla first attacked Tokyo. For hundreds of years, humanity has known about us Godline members, and they thought that we were here to hurt them, when in reality, we were here to help them. So they created a counter kaiju known as Project Claw, a titan that was based off of a Therizinosaurus that was created by humanity in order to wipe out every single member of the god line. The experiment worked a little too well, and the creature ended up going awry, killing everything and everyone in his path. It got so bad, I had to step in and try and stop him myself. But I couldn't. Not alone. So I enlisted the help of four other members of the God Line. Spine Crusher, Madam Karcha, Tundra, and of course, Lord Giganato. Even with the five of us together, it was hard work, but we managed to defeat him, and we banished him to the Void. Before he was banished, he swore that he would one day return. And I'm afraid that that day has finally arrived. Holy crap. It's not safe for you and Verna, Jay. You need to get out of here while you still can. The rest of us are just laying low until we know every single one of Project Claw's capabilities, so then we know what we're up against. In the meantime, Jay... You and Verna might want to lay low. Oh, come on, Tyrannos. Let's be realistic here. You're talking to the very dinosaur that defeated Lord Giganato after he literally tried to usurp the throne from you. How bad can Project Claw really be? With enough training, I could probably defeat him. Jay's right. He's a very smart dinosaur. He'll find a way to beat Project Claw. Project Claw is just way too strong. This isn't Lord Giganato we're dealing with. Project Claw is ten times worse. Well, since Lord Giganato is dead, and you guys are understaffed, what do you plan on doing, Tyrannos? If I'm going to be honest with you, Jay, I don't know. I really don't know. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.